D is up next, and D is a useful hotkey in that it lets you easily move a pivot for a manipulator, as you can see there. Uh, uppercase is simply uh, is a simple duplicate, but it's also sort of a smart duplicate. So we'll, I'll show you how that works. So in this case, I'm just going to try to move my pivot point for this crate to the corner of the object. So if I hold the D key down really quickly, I've toggled the active state of that pivot. And if I hold the C key down at the same time for snapping, we can move that directly to the edge. So D key and then the C key held down together. And you can move that pivot point wherever you want it. Uh, and snapping works as well. Shift D just lets you duplicate an object. And if I move that object over, you can see that I can hit Shift D again, and it accepts that translation or uses that translation for the next duplicate. It also works on multiple objects. So if I duplicate all of these guys and move them up in space, and I wanted to populate the deck, it's pretty quick and easy to do. Uh, so that's a quick way of sort of replicating and, and creating stacks of objects and uh, sort, of, sort of speeding up your workflow in terms of duplicating things. On to E, and E is simply used for rotate, uh, along with W and R for translate and rotate, It's prob or translate and scale rather, it's probably one of the most used hotkeys in terms of moving things around your scene. And its uppercase will key the rotation. Uh, there's also a marquee menu, and we can use it with soft select, which we'll look at. So in this case, if we select our crate and hit the E key, we get the manipulator that allows us to either constrain in a particular direction, or if we middle mouse button click in the scene outside the manipulator, uh, I can move or rotate that object based on the camera plane. Another thing that we can do is bring up the channel box, and if we take a look at the rotate values here, if I hit Shift E, you can see that I only set keyframes for the rotation of the object. Another thing that we can do is hit the B hot key that we talked about earlier, and if I go into the marking menu for rotate by holding down the E key and left mouse button clicking, we can take a look at the soft select options or the, within the rotate options, and we've got the fall off mode set to object, and that allows me to rotate based on soft select. And of course, if we use our B hot key again, uh, we can let's scale that down just a little bit. I don't want my ocean rotating. Uh, we can rotate these objects in sort of a random manner, and it's a good quick way of sort of randomizing or scattering some objects around your scene. So that's the E hotkey for rotate. F is another hotkey that's associated with the camera in that it focuses on the selected objects and this works just like the A key but on selected objects instead of the entire scene. So in this case if I select a crate here and hit F you can see that I get the focus and the pivot point of the camera around the object that I've got selected. So if I select a face, in this case the window up here, and hit F, it's going to focus in on that particular face. If I grab a selection of components, that's another place that this will work, and you can see that I focus around those selected vertices that I've got. Um, Shift F, if I move into a two-up view like I had before, and let's just go back and select a crate. If I hit Shift F, it's going to focus on that crate in both views. So whatever selected is going to sync up in all the views that I have and focus on that particular object. One thing to point out about the F key as well as the A key for that matter is that it can be used in Windows aside from just the camera panel. So in this case if I zoom out here a little bit and reveal a few more crates, if I wanted to pick this particular crate and see it inside the outliner, let's say my my hierarchy was collapsed, if I hit the F key in the outliner it'll automatically expand out to show or reveal that particular selection. So that's a pretty handy way of navigating in the outliner. Um, especially with long lists of objects. It also works inside places like the Hypershade or even uh, in this case the Graph Editor. If I hit a keyframe, uh, hit the keyframe button on this particular object and highlight these particular channels and hit the F key, you can see it shows me the keyframes that are associated with it. Uh, it also follows suit, uh, like I said, with the Outliner uh, or the Hypershade rather. We can hit the F key here and it'll focus in on the selected node. So the F key is pretty handy in all the panels, not just the camera view.